Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to day 11, not quite heaven. After my skin removal surgery of my arm lift and my chest reverse tummy tug free nipple graft, I posted what I posted last night. I had a rough night. It was just frustrated. It's the reason that I have the open wound is because, and I'm just telling this for, you know, people in the future to help them, was that I... I'm waiting for this thing called zero form gauze, which apparently is very rare, like a unicorn. You can't even get it around here. And the shipment got delayed because of weather. It was supposed to be here last Friday, and now it's not going to be here until Monday. It is Vaseline impregnated gauze, and so I'm having to use dry gauze. Actually, I have non-stick pads coming today, which I'm afraid are going to like make me a little hivey, but I can't use dry gauze anymore. And basically, I had put some dry gauze in that wound with uh, Neosporin on it and it got stuck. And I even run in the shower water for five minutes, it wouldn't come out and you know, eventually it kind of ripped that back open. And I was just frustrated with that. And my incisions are very inflamed uh, at the bend of my arm. I, I found slough, which I know from previous uh, surgeries has to be basically scrubbed out. And it was along much of my incision and you know, I've sent pictures to Dr. Kababe about that this morning, and I will update when he lets me know what he thinks about that and if I need to do anything. Uh, my pain's feeling pretty good today. I had a miserable night, though. Um, I woke up at about 3 a.m. just scratching at kind of one of those inflamed incisions, and I was like, ow, like almost in my sleep. But, uh, you know, after I got woke up, it was just itching like crazy. And if you follow me, you know, one of my worst fears is what happened to me last time, which was hives that never quit. Um, I have very sensitive skin always um, before this, but compression has always made that so much worse. I take two Zyrtec a day trying to keep it under control. And so far I have, knock on wood, um, and I would like to keep it that way. But last night it honestly felt like I had hives all around my incisions and I have a possible torn rotator cuff in my right shoulder and that was hurting me a lot and my left shoulder for some reason was also hurting me um probably the way that i had the pillows arranged and have to you know keep my arms elevated and it was hot even though it was 47 degrees outside my room was hot and you know i just decided i hope i tried to open the window but the window's heavy it's just it was a lot <laughs> um it was a lot uh but you know i <laughs> i finally got back to bed um, after a few hours, you know, I started getting in my head like, oh, I need sleep, and now I can't sleep, and I'm miserable, and I'm hot, and my shoulders hurt, and I'm itchy, and, <laughs> you know, it was just all of it, um, I miss my dog, you know, you know, he's been the one that's always here with me, uh, and, you know, I still, when I leave the room, I'll, you know, and go outside, and when I come home, you know, I'm always expecting him, because he was here for 15 years, um, and it was such a, you know, close to my surgery that I lost him right before, it's just, um, it's been extra difficult. So all that to say, uh, I woke up and my left arm had kind of come unwrapped. I'm going to put a video right here uh, to show what to do in that case, how to, how I figured out how to wrap my arm. Maybe there's a better way of so share it with me, but this is how I figured it out. Um, this is the best way to wrap your arm when that happens. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, it's, it's not glamorous and like, I don't like sharing the bad you know, I want to be encouraging, um, and for the most part, this has been a pretty, you know, good recovery for me. You know, the pain's been intense at times, of course, but the pain's never really bothered me that much. It's the itching I want to avoid, but I definitely don't want to mask or hide the bad either. Uh, I just feel like that's not really honest, and as much as I don't want to, and on my own, if it was just up to me, I wouldn't say anything. Um, I'm not the type to, but... I figured I would share anyway and you know I woke up to 1200 comments of support and love so I really appreciate you all thank you very much um you know it's a new day I'm gonna go forward like I always do today's step is to keep my arms elevated I'll probably ice them on and off I've contacted my doctor and I will wait for his response on what to do I've got the non-stick pads coming I've got the wound cleanser coming and tomorrow I have the zero form gauze, which if you're going to have any kind of free nipple graft or any kind of surgery with open incisions, I didn't even know about this stuff until recently. So I, I would recommend getting that ahead of time. It's a little pricey and I can't find it in any stores, but you can get it on Amazon, Walmart.com are the two places I found it. Order it ahead of time. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for your love and support. I know this was long, but, uh,
So is this recovery. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.